Hi, this is Walmer de Haas from ilovepowerbi.tips and today I will show you how to make a line chart where people can show or hide the lines based on a multi-select slicer. As you can see if I click on a slicer here in one of the items the lines will show up or disappear. So I will show you how to do this and I will go to a new file so you can follow along with me and the first thing um, I'm gonna do is making the line chart just the normal way so I can see what's gonna happen and um, I pick the order date and I select the measures I want to show as a line nothing special about it of course you can make any measure, you, you can choose any measure you want to uh, use uh, to select uh, uh, in, uh, in the slicer. Uh, for now I got the sales amount uh, percentile and the measure looks like this, really easy formula. Of course you can do sum or average, doesn't matter uh, as long as it's a measure. The next thing we need is a slicer where people can select which lines they want to show or hide. And um, therefore we need a, a table and um, I'm, uh, I call this the disconnected slicer technique because um, we're going to make a table for the slicer which is not connected to any of the tables in our data model. So it's a really safe way uh, to make tables and it's a really powerful way um, and still we can use it as a a uh, way to um, uh, let measures work. You can make a table by uh, importing from Excel. In this case, I want to uh, use the enter data function in Power BI. And what we're going to do is we're going to make an ID for every line we want to switch on or off. So it's got a unique ID we can choose. And we want to show in the slicer itself the description and it can be different than the measure you can make uh, uh, things by your own and um, in this case I will have the same name just for this demo and the ninth and we call this the slicer table line chooser you can make more tables of course and then just load it into the model as you can see it's there and in our data model there's absolutely no connection between one of these tables. Next thing is we're gonna make a slicer. With our options. And here if we look at the data itself, of course it's the same. So I use the line description for it. And if I select one of these items, nothing will happen to the lines. Of course, we didn't do anything um, to make that happen. Um, the basic setup of a slicer is that if you use control, you can use multi-select, which I don't like for people because you really need to know that it's uh, working that way. So I will go to the um, formatting options and then use selection controls and then multi select with control off and then you can see that you can just turn it off without control and do the multi select so this is the uh, setup so what is the magic that we uh, somehow connect this slicer to the lines well the magic happens in the measure itself uh, basically what I want to do is that 
um, what the slicer does is it filters the table. So if I choose two um, uh, two items here, basically the table will say, okay, I will show, I will give back two lines, the two uh, rows, sorry, two rows uh, where uh, which you have selected. So that is the the way it works. Always. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna say, okay, if you have a line um, which is uh, has an ID one or two, in this case, percentile ten, we uh, said it's line one. And what we're gonna do, we can say if. And then we use a contains, and then we say, okay, we're gonna if the slicer is filtered back to one of the IDs, which is uh, in those row, and the column is the ID, and we say it's value one, then show the line. Otherwise don't show the line. That's basically what we're gonna do. And what contains does is it's going to the uh, one or more uh, rows um, and uh, in the table. So in this, uh, we go to the slicer table, then we go to the column ID, uh, and it says, okay, if one of these rows contains one, then I give back true. And that's a nice way because I also selected 90, the fourth ID. So basically we say four and one. Still, the first selection is true. And the first statement is true because it says if it contains one. Okay, then we can do it for all the other measures. So basically you do if contains, again, which table you wanna, oh sorry, which table you wanna do is the, slicer table we want to look up some values the id i want to look up and then in it, this case it's two we want to see if it contains id two two which is um, connected with the 25th percentile then i want to show you the 25th of percentile okay um result if true and result false, don't show. Next one, if contains, which table you wanna have, which column do you wanna have, and which value do you wanna have look up. This is number three, ID number three, line three, then it's done. If it's true, then do the measure and otherwise keep a blank. The last one. Slicer table ID number four. True or else give me a blank. As you can see, the lines will show up because it's connected to one of the IDs. So this one is always connected, is looking up, which the uh, table is filtered and then gives true or false for every of these measures. So now you know how to make an interactive line chart where people can um, use the slicer to show uh, and hide their lines they want. Thank you for watching and if you want to have more Power BI tips just go to www.ilovepowerbi.tips and then I will see you next time.